Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your friendly neighborhood basement dweller, Nev from Nev's Tactics. I love these digital, these computer-based chess games. If you don't have any friends to play with, you just get one of these computer things. That's right, computers have been great for filling in for friends for us for so long. You can get something like this and play to your heart's content. Now, there are some chess players that are just, they're perfect when it comes to fighting against uh computer-based opponents, and that's exactly what we have here. Now, unfortunately, this unit doesn't work. It had lithium batteries in it that leaked, and I'm missing one piece here. I just can't find anywhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to tear down this thing and see how it works, at least. So it's always been argued that white should go first at the beginning of every chess game, and I wonder why. I read a comic book, Vampirella versus She. It was one of those stories where God and Satan were having a chess match. I'm sure that we've all heard or read books about such a thing. Anyways, within the story, Satan takes the first shot, and he says, well, I'm Satan, I'm the bad guy, I'm evil, and evil is as evil does, or whatever, and so I'm going first. The whole story was based around the Antichrist being born, and they knew they could only find the Antichrist because they knew it was the only person that had, was completely normal. Everyone's a little bit weird, but the Antichrist was completely normal in this one situation. Copyright 1982, my birth year. This is where you put all the little pieces, if I had them all. All right, so I had to go off camera and uh, use a little bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And pull. Lots of clips. Lots of clips. And man, look at this. I can tell why the thing wouldn't work now. These things were busted, honestly, though. I didn't, uh, I didn't pull this thing that far. I didn't pull this thing so far off that these things would have fallen off, so... I mean, I can't be too mad because the second-hand store basically just gave this thing to me. Looks like a clean, nice green board. Remember when boards seem to have gone from brown to green? Looks like this was handmade. You can see all that flux right there. Back in uh, the early 80s, we didn't have machines that could automatically spin around and do welding, welding, soldering. All right, so we take it out, we flip it. And here we got the old looking stuff. Here we got the really old looking stuff. Let's see if I can take these, yeah, the connectors out. We'll get up really quick, uh, really closely, and uh, I don't recognize. I don't recognize these chips at all. I was expecting more to be going on with the board. There's definitely lots of lights and awesome stuff like that. But there's only three chips here. That's so interesting. I thought there'd be more than that. I thought there'd be so much more than that. I mean, what's this thing here for? The jumper? Is this like Lewis Rossman just running a wire, but running a whole bunch of wires? What's going on there? Back up a bit, and we can get a better view of the board. Huh, okay, I honestly thought there'd be a lot, lot more going on on the inside of this system. Looks like we got a big, powerful weight right there, so people could uh, feel like they got their money's worth. There's a lot of things, especially pottery, where they'll put in a lot of weighted stuff just so it feels like you got your money's worth. On the website musketeenjournal.com, they say, a beginner of chess learns the power of white first very quickly. They will see that an opponent will prefer the white pieces if given a choice. They feel a sense of empowerment even when they are playing a stronger opponent. For this reason, players who play white may be more motivated to win. I also found an answer to this question. How do you decide who goes first in chess? Okay, I can't get Google to say it now, but I got Google to tell me that white always went first because some dude actually said uh, they should... It should go first. If someone could tell me, actually, the real reason, leave in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. So here's the where the really interesting stuff comes in, where you place the pieces. I was wrong. This isn't just a weight. This is uh, to help the magnets attach. And when you press down a piece on here, it completes a connection from here to nya that completes a circuit to tell the board that a certain unit has been hit. I've seen this a lot on the Dance Dance Revolution pads and the original uh, NES uh, sports pad, I think it was called. So this is where the cool piece is. This is where the interesting little bit is, but I definitely thought I'd see more cool things on the board. There's not a lot going on here, especially for 1982. I was expecting uh, more chips all over the place. The board looks pretty good, but I'm, I'm really curious about this. How come they ran so many wires for this? It says jumper, but I don't get why. I don't get why. Well, anyways, all I know is I love tearing things down, especially these things. There's something, there's something about digital chess. There's something about, there's something about playing against the computer that I absolutely love. And I love these things. I'm sad that I couldn't get this one working again, but it is what it is. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Now from Nest Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. More importantly, folks, always take care of each other, will you?